Hello YouTube, this is Lachlan T1984. The YouTube user Avo Lover was asking me to make a video about my 1998 version of Teddy Ruxpin from Yes Entertainment. Um, I don't think there was anything specific he wanted to know, so, or they wanted to know, I'm not sure if they're male or female. Um, I'm not sure if there was anything specific they wanted to know, so I'll just generally talk about it and show you a few things. Um, just for comparison, here is the original Teddy Rocks Punk from 1985. And you can see that there are a few differences between both versions. The 1998 version is a lot smaller, and it's also wearing a red t-shirt. Now, it's interesting to note that Donald Kingsborough was the chief executive officer of both Worlds of Wonder in the 80s and then Yes Entertainment from about 1993 to when Yes went out of business in 1998 or 1999 I think it was. Rumour has it, and I'm not sure if this is true or not, but rumour has it that Donald Kingsborough didn't like the design of Teddy Ruxpin's original tunic, which is what this one's wearing, the original from the 80s, that like brown tunic. And people have said that Donald Kingsborough didn't like that tunic design, so this later version of Teddy Ruxpin has this red t-shirt on it, which can't come off by the way. You can remove the tunic from the original Teddy Ruxpin, but not from this one. Um, and a lot of people don't like that red t-shirt. I don't mind it, but a lot of people really didn't like it. So, yes, in the more recent version of Teddy Ruxpin from 19, from uh, 2005, they've gone back to their original design. As you can see, this one's also a lot smaller. These earlier versions of Teddy Ruxpin had either two or three server motors in them that moved the eyes and the mouth. This one only has one that moves the eyes and the mouth. Um, and then on the side here, if we can get a good view of this, you can see there are a couple of controls there. You've got the volume control switch at the top, and then the play and stop buttons for the tape deck. The tape deck is on the back. You can see that they've got a locking mechanism to stop little kids, I'm, I'm guessing it's to stop little kids from opening the tape deck and damaging the tape or possibly becoming entangled in the tape. Then at the bottom there you've got the battery well, which takes which holds four AA batteries. Opening this tape deck can be a bit of a nuisance actually. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand. Let me zoom in. I think that's as far as the zoom goes in. In order to open the battery the cassette compartment, you need to pull this little locking mechanism to the left and then open the cassette player door by pulling that plastic tab down and then there's the tape um, I'm not sure what cassette this is I think it's still a long song book okay so we'll turn the tape over and put it back in and then the door closed on me the door the door opening is extremely limited, so it can be quite difficult, especially with one hand, to put a tape in. And then you just push the door closed. I have very big worries about this cover on the back of Teddy Ruxpin. It just feels like one of those things that's ripe for snapping, breaking, forcing. Even when you're using two hands to put a tape into that thing, it can be quite difficult sometimes. I have often found that if you don't insert the tape just so, it can be very difficult to close the door. In fact, sometimes when I close the cassette player door, it doesn't close properly and doesn't close flush with the back of Teddy Ruxpin, which is annoying because then it can be very difficult to press the play button. And if you do that, when the tape isn't inserted properly, you could potentially damage the tape, which isn't... Terribly good. Hi there, my name is Grubby, and I'd like to tell you a story about. Uh oh. Hi, Grubby. What are you doing? Oh, uh, nothing. Just uh, talking to myself. Uh, so, Grubby, how are you? Okay, Grubby. And you? Grubby. It sounded like you were going to tell a story. Well, uh, yeah, I guess You have three different volume settings. Currently the volume is on low. Go ahead. Really? 
And that's okay. full volume. Once upon a time, there was and that's medium. Named Grubby. You just put it back on one. I will say that I actually prefer the design on the original Teddy Ruxpin where you actually have a volume control wheel on the back of Teddy Ruxpin that allows you to adjust the volume from extremely soft to actually quite loud. I have found in a, in a few circumstances where the lowest volume setting on the Yes Entertainment version of Teddy Ruxpin is just a bit too loud. Even on its lowest volume I kind of wish it was a bit quieter. These are the tapes I have for the Yes Entertainment version of Teddy Ruxpin. Um, that's what's Uncle Grubby. Winter Adventure. Teddy Ruxpin's Christmas. Whoops. And this one would be the airship. Um, and then of course Do a Long Songbook is in Teddy Ruxpin. It's also worth pointing out that the tapes aren't cross compatible with the original version of Teddy Ruxpin. You can't take a tape from the 1998 version of Teddy Ruxpin and plug in the original version of Teddy Ruxpin and vice versa. Um, but you can see that the design of the tape is slightly different. This is the 1998 version of the airship. I don't think the focus on the camera is quite good enough to allow you to read the text. And then by comparison, here's the original version from the 80s. You can see this one has the world's Wonder logo at the top, and then all the copyright details, and the Teddy Ruxpin logo is different as well. So, that's one way to tell, and because the tapes are recorded differently, they're not compatible with different versions of Teddy Ruxpin. Probably the most exciting thing about this version of Teddy Ruxpin is that Alchemy, Alchemy Communications Group and Yes Entertainment made some interesting designs with this Teddy Ruxpin. It was possible for you to buy video cassettes that would actually allow Teddy Ruxpin to interact with the cartoon show. Yes, there was a Teddy Ruxpin cartoon show, and I should have mentioned that from the outset. That came out back in the 80s. But uh, Worlds of Wonder did some interesting things... Uh, yes, and Entertainment, sorry, did some interesting things that allowed Teddy Ruxpin to interact with the videos for the cartoon show. I do have a video here. It's The Treasure of Grondo. Basically, what you need to do is... You have a special talk box, which I have up here. I don't know if it's going to be very easy for me to show you this. No, because it's all connected up. The talk box connects between the audio and video outputs on the back of the VCR to... It connects between the VCR and the TV set. So you run a cable from the video output and the right channel audio output on the back of the VCR to the talk box. And that controls Teddy Ruxpin. Then you need to run cables from the back of the talk box into your TV set. So you've got to have a TV set with AV inputs. And the VCR must be a hi-fi stereo model. This is an LG VCR that I got last year. Um, and it plays both PAL and NTSC cassettes, which is important because I bought this Teddy Ruxpin on eBay, secondhand from someone in America, so this tape is an NTSC tape. So I do need a VCR that can play NTSC cassettes. What you do is you have a an audio cable, if I can get it, here, that connects to a socket on the back of Teddy Ruxpin. It's a standard 3.5mm socket. So the cable plugs into the back of Teddy Ruxpin. Now we need to turn the talk box on. It is now on. Yes, the red light's on. You need to plug the talk box into the AV in the AV output to the back of the VCR, then put your TV into the AV or video input mode. You also need to run another cable from the left channel audio output on the back of your VCR to the left channel audio input on the TV. You run the cable directly to the television. The way the tapes are encoded is that the audio for the sort of a standard tape programming like the characters' voices, the music and what have you, comes through the left channel. 
Kelly Ruxpin's voice when he does the narrations comes through the right channel. And because the, when the talk box is on, the right channel is actually diverted from the TV set to Teddy Ruxpin. When the talk box is not running, it should be possible for you to just play other videotapes and watch normal TV programming without the talk box interfering with the way the VCR and the TV operate. So you'll get stereo sound and proper video as you should. I'm going to put the, t I'm going to put the cassette in and it should start to play. You don't need to do anything particularly special with Teddy Ruxpin apart from plugging the cable in. Oops, it's falling over there. There's no switch you need to flick on Teddy Ruxpin. Because the talk box is on, when I plug the, put the tape in, Teddy Ruxpin should just turn on automatically. You'll also see a green light on the VCR coming up. It's just getting the tape ready. Whoops, Teddy Ruxpin just came on. And then when you pause the video, Teddy, Teddy Ruxpin will switch off. If the talk box is working properly, a green light should come up on the front of the unit to indicate that it's receiving a signal. Would you look at that? This is amazing! Gold! Diamonds! We really found the treasure of Grundo! But the treasure is just the beginning of our adventures. What I'll do is I'll, I'll run the tape forward a bit so you can see a little bit of the programming. This is just a preview for some other tapes, which I don't actually have. So, oh, oh, I shouldn't do that because Teddy Ruxman's doing something a bit interesting. I shouldn't put the VCR into pause mode, okay. I'll just run this tape forward a little bit so you can see what happens. Here we go. Do you all know this song? Come on, sing along. Come dream with me tonight. Let's go to far off places and search for treasures bright. Come dream with me tonight. Let's build a giant airship and sail into the sky let's watch the clouds so far below let's watch the birds as they fly by fly so high come dream with me tonight exciting adventures. The treasure of Grundo. Let's watch it together. Come on, Grubby. Teddy, my feet are getting sore. I must have stepped on every rock between Rolonia and here. You didn't tell me adventure seeking would be this hard on my feet. Yes, Grubby. You do have a lot of feet to worry about. So this is the land of Grundo. It sure is strange looking. It certainly is a lot different from Melonia. Uh-huh. I'll say, Teddy. And now that we've seen it, maybe we ought to go back to where we came from. <laughs> but, Grubby, we can't... So, basically, you get the idea. Um, Teddy Ruxpin would just interact with the TV show and make comments and fall over. Make loud clunking noises. 
he just interacts and makes comments about what's happening in the show. It's actually quite good. I quite like it. Um, it's actually been a long time since I last just turn that off. Been a long time since I last watched this video tape. Uh, this tape's about 70 minutes in length, and I like it. As crazy as it may seem for a 27-year-old man like me to be into this sort of thing, I actually don't mind this. Um, I don't think anyone's actually spoken about the TV interactivity pack, but I'll give you a basic idea of how it works. So, yeah, that should answer a lot of Abo lovers' questions, I hope. If there's anything you do want to know more, just leave a comment and I'll try and answer the question as best I can. Thanks for watching.